just a few words about the significance of the eclipse. All of us know that the eclipse is a stunning astronomical event. Just the sight of the disk of the sun or the moon magically being covered is beautiful in itself. But in India, all throughout the world, eclipse has been considered as something terrible happening. And in India also, many places, there is this feeling that eclipse is inauspicious. But we need to understand this properly. When there is an eclipse, you look around you, you will see that the entire nature is changed. The birds go quiet. Everything shifts. And this doesn't happen only because the sun is being covered. It happens because at this point of time, suddenly there is an influx of lots of ultraviolet and other radiations. And that change quietens the complete nature. Of course, when it, there's a total eclipse, <coughs> sorry, then birds do feel that it is sunset and they do start going back to their nests. That does happen. But more importantly, there is this energy which comes. And we need to be careful. We shouldn't be observing the solar eclipse especially with naked eyes. There are specific glasses. And if you are a do-it-yourself person, then you can have a flame, take a slide and just put the suit of the flame on that glass and you can watch it through there. So that the harmful UV rays don't affect the eyes. And the UV rays are, they can have harmful impact, especially on cooked food. That is the reason why it is said not to eat during this time. And many places, whatever cooked food is there, that is chucked away because it has been exposed to these radiations. There might be some harmful degradation which would have taken place. That is why it is chucked. But on an energetic level, eclipses are not inauspicious. In fact, they are very, very powerful moments. We recently chanted the Ganapati Atharva Shirsha. In the Falashruti of the Ganapati Atharva Shirsha, it is mentioned Surya Grahe Mahanadyam Pratima Sannidhav Vajatva Siddha Mantro Bhavati. During the solar eclipse, it is very, very powerful moment if you want to achieve mastery over the mantra. Mastery over the mantra does not mean just pronouncing it properly. It means activating the subtle aspects of the mantra. When we chant Om Namah Shivai, we are chanting something and we are generating an energy. But there is also a subtle aspect, a pranic aspect that needs to be activated. And once it is activated, then the mantra has the complete 
impact and to do so we need to perfect it and that is known as mantra ko siddha karna aur grahan kal mein mantra siddhi ke liye jab daan koi bhi punya karma jo hota hai uski punyai badh jati hai क्योंकि लोगों को पुण्य कार्य करने के लिए उद्युक्त करना होता है इसलिए एक रूढ़ी एक परंपरा बन गई कि देखो सूर्य को राहु ग्रस रहा है जल्दी जल्दी पुण्य काम करो नहीं तो अनर्थ हो जाएगा इट इज अकिन टू स्केरिंग अ चाइल्ड डोंट गो इन द डार्क और द बोगी मैन विल ईट यू अप बिकॉज द चाइल्ड अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज लिमिटेड इट विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ आई गो आउट इट इज डार्क आई माइट स्टम्बल आई माइट फॉल देर माइट बी स्नेक्स और स्कॉर्पियंस और डिफरेंट एनिमल्स अराउंड स्पेशली इन रूरल एरिया एंड दैट इज वाई do not go out we know that the children will never listen to this but it is essential that we need to protect them so what do we do we cook up a story which seems plausible to the child and thanks to that story the child is saved what will happen if this child grows up and keeps on thinking the same story is true the growth of the child gets stunted and that is something which we need to understand as practitioners of yoga we need to start delving deeper into the meanings of all the activities yesterday was surya grahan and i'm sure there must have been so many people they at least when uh, we were young that used to happen people would go around saying te dan su te gran means please donate so that the uh, eclipse will go away wo hota hai kya bibi does that happen at different places nahi in earlier days it used to happen people would come, go around saying that please give donation so that the eclipse will go away that is a way to induce people into donating the main thing is that this is known as a very very auspicious vedic times vedic uh, scriptures tantric scriptures lay great stress and emphasis about this so we need to understand the significance scientifically on an energetic level and on a spiritual level also of course when there is something which is powerful it can have positive or negative impacts so we need to be careful no two things about it don't watch the sun with bare eyes that's never good especially in an eclipse it is not good food i have already spoken about drinking water better to avoid but if it is very very essential you can always take it and then whatever time you have possible spend 5 minutes 10 minutes meditating chanting your mantra or doing some spiritual activity the impact is increased so let this be our uh, learning today that eclipse is a beautiful event and in addition to it being a thing of beauty it is also an opportunity for increasing the energy quotient within us riyom tat sat namo narayan namo yeah. narayan